And there it is, tonight's supper. The vegetables, uh, the vegetables are carrots, mini potatoes, and Korean radish chunks uh, done in my T-Fell Fry with a rotisserie chicken. There's a little char on the outside of the chicken, but that's just the skin, which uh, we as seniors aren't going to eat anyways. It's cooked perfectly, and I'm quite happy with it. After making certain that your chicken is the right size for this cooking process, up to a maximum of around 3.5 pounds is ideal. Things you will need are a flavoring rub and some butcher's cord to truss the chicken as tightly as possible against a rotisserie bar. Let's start with the rub. Here are the ingredients for a basic recipe to which I added 4 tablespoons of the following barbecue flavoring powder. I then took a tablespoon of my rub mix, added a tablespoon of olive oil to it, and formed a paste that I could force under the skin of the chicken breast with a basting brush. I'll post the list of ingredients for this rub again before the end of the video. Now I'm in the process of applying the rub. And we'll get this bird completely covered with this. Every part of it that you can. But you do want to save a little bit. What you're saving it for now. You're going to put it down in the cavity. Now the trussing comes next. I've cut a piece of butcher's cord that is the right length. I'm going to see if I can remember exactly how the pros do it. I watch a YouTube video quite a few times. And I've already screwed it up. <laughs> Needless to say that trussing the chicken turned out to be a frustrating exercise until I abandoned the notion of using just one piece of butcher's cord. After using a couple pieces of cord to truss each area of the chicken individually and reapplying a bit more rub, I carefully placed the chicken on the rotisserie bar. There it is, trussed up, ready to go. So I've got my function set. I'm going one hour on rotisserie at 350. And then it's just a matter of pushing the start button. Now we'll see if my amateur trussing is going to hold up. So there seems to be no issue with the fact that it's a little off-center on the, on the rotisserie rod. It's actually turning quite nicely and cooking quite nicely. Here we are, half an hour in. It's looking great and it's, it's working quite well as well. See all the fluids dripping off of it. Obviously the interior of this oven is going to be splattered with juices from the chicken so it's going to require um, some diligence in cleaning up afterwards. So let's take this out. Uh, first thing we'll do is try and take it out with the tool that was provided. Now I'm very dubious about this but if it works it works. Well it's a two-handed deal. Oh, look at that, it works. And this is how I got to the image I opened this video with. For my next video, I will be unboxing and conditioning my brand new souped up recipes wok and then trying one of my favorite wok recipes. I hope to see you then. When the stars won't shine for you, and your dreams turn black and blue, on those dark nights you'll be alright, I'll be right there with you. Together we'll see it through. When the stars won't shine for you, and your dreams turn black and blue. On those dark nights you'll be alright, I'll be right there with you.
together we'll see it through.